Uh, buenos tardes. Uh, that's about the extent of my Spanish knowledge. Um, my name is Clay Lawyer. I'm a fourth grade teacher. This is my first year at ASA. Um, and I guess I'm a relatively uh, unique case at ASA in the fact that not only is this my first international experience, uh, my first time ever leaving the United States. So it was definitely a bit of a culture shock coming to Paraguay, but um, luckily ASA has many things in place to make that transition as about as easy as you can get. Um, from the liaison at school who sets up um, a lot of your things, your internet, takes you around to see apartments, helps furnish your different things in your apartments. Um, just a lot of things that the school does in order to make that transition is less about moving to Paraguay and more about moving into the ASA community. Um, so w once you're settled in, um, the, the administrators are wonderful checking in on you, making sure that you have everything you need. If you need anything, they go whatever, through whatever it takes to get you what you need. Um, and that's kind of the family that, that gets promoted also quite a bit because that's the, kind of the way it feels. Um, and, and not just from the administrative side, but also the student and family side. One of the strongest parts about ASA is the, the incredible families and students that we get to serve every day. Um, just for the fact that um, from, from day one, you know, even though I know very little Spanish, um, which ASA does offer free courses and, and it would be a smart idea to take part in that, but it's not incredibly necessary to know Spanish. Um, I can get along fine without it um, to a degree. Um, but from the first opening night with the parents, um, they were very supportive, very open, whatever they can do to help their child out. And, and that, that love for their child and, and, and how much they want to um, you know, advocate for their child comes through in the students also. They have a, a need to learn on a daily basis and they work hard. They're very flexible. They um, are, are great thinkers and, and they're very accountable. Um, they're okay with having responsibility and and for a fourth grade teacher, you know, we're teaching that responsibility piece quite a bit and our ASA students are, are instilled in those same qualities at home. Um, this campus is incredible as you're seeing. It's a beautiful spring day down here. Um, it was very undersold. The pictures I saw online does not do this place justice. It's, it's an incredible, um, everything is outdoors, um, but also if it's rainy or anything like that, everything's taken care of. Um, the facilities are, are, are just uh, bar none. Um, everything that you need, everything that you could want, and, and one tiny little mapped out area of uh, Ascension. Ascension as a whole, it's a big city, but a small town feel. You have everything you need, you can get everything you need, and the school makes sure that you have different ways to get whatever it is that you need. Um, it's an incredible place, and you, you'd be very lucky to get a job here, um, and hope to see you.